Hello, welcome everybody. This is the opening night of our LFA exhibition, uh, hashtag John Remembers, um, a personal view of London's architecture. I've got to do the usual duty of thank yous, really to all contributors, both special and regular, to Adrum, um, who have been wonderful in providing this space, dream space, to Elena, Lucretia, and Babita, who curated this and really developed the idea, to the numerous JRA volunteers, who are really are too numerous to mention, thank you for helping out, and to Yanis, whose uh, seed idea it was. Grant Smith, uh, who's a photographer and quite a tough taskmaster, so he really helped us um, with the judging. I can't forget Overbury and Pace Interiors, the bricks um, for their wonderful vinyl prints. And last but not least, uh, to the LFA for their support, of course. We're patrons of the festival this year, um, and we've had a couple of people from the LFA along this evening, Barry and Tamsi, I'm not sure if they're still here, but it was good to have them in support. The images are, are really the fruit of an Instagram campaign and competition we launched last month. The idea was to use really the immediacy, reach and unique characteristics of social media to have a different take really on the viewing of buildings and I hope it's a refreshing one that you can enjoy. Um, we saw this as an opportunity really to engage with a wider community and connect, um, as I say, with others, not just architects. And I think we've been reasonably successful, uh, successful in doing that. The quality of the prints and images are really first class. Um, it, was, it was a really tough prob uh, problem for us to, to judge it uh, and to pick winners. Um, Elena will tell us a little bit more about the winners. The idea is that to reflect all these memories in our, in our display. And the idea was to try to unearth some memories that come with architecture. We all have our own thoughts about, about buildings and then put them on the wall, but behind memories, there are some more memories. So what we would like everyone to do, pick a memory and, and take it home with you. And as you take it, you'll see that there's another story behind, not only on the postcard, but also on the wall, and you can already see some memories floating behind. So it was really tough, we got about 300 entries, and. Grant Smith and David as well have the um, task to choose uh, winners. And Babita as well. And as well, yeah, <laughs> she did help absolutely. So we have two winners one winner from a member of the public and one winner from JRA because we also um, got quite excited about our own campaign. And we have two runner ups as well and we have some special mentions. So I'm going to start with a member of the public winner, who is Martin Clark, who's here tonight. <laughs> and uh, his quite incredible photograph is the big one up there. Definitely the composition is quite incredible. We've got the graffiti at the back, the work at the front. You have like two triangles, one inside the other. We've got um, a runner-up just below is um, from Sally Fricker. What the jury said was uh, they did love the just position of old and new um, and if you read her quite long story she actually went all out in a really poetic way to describe what, what she saw in that picture. So definitely a really good runner up. On the other old wall if you turn around we have the winner is from Maeve. That's actually the ceiling of Euston Station. I'm sure a lot of people have been to Houston and haven't noticed uh, that ceiling. What uh, Grant and David and we all liked very much is the simplicity of the, of the photo and yet the, how surprising it is. Her story that goes with it is actually a very lovely and uplifting story and I, I think it's one of those stories that shows how architecture inspires us and lift us and make us think bigger about ourselves. So do read the story, don't miss it. And a runner-up just uh, underneath is Hashini. At first it might seem quite a typical picture of the Big Ben, 
but actually the quality of the light in that picture is quite incredible and if you look at it closer you start finding little details that you didn't see at first you can see uh, a bird and then you can see people doing different things and also her story is, is quite um, witty so I think it's really well deserved. Take a memory, take a picture, take it home and keep discovering some memories of memory. Thank you. Well done!